Hello students, hope you all are doing well. So we are going to start the second part of our 10th unit from which we are going to get three two marks questions and the seventh question on the board is scheduled caste residential schools. As you know about residential schools and we have various caste. We have SC, ST, BC and minority. Out of these many caste, how many SC, that is nothing but scheduled caste, how many scheduled caste residential schools have been set up in our Telangana government? Nearly 268 residential schools for SC caste have been established. For which level to which level from 5th standard to undergraduate level? Is that clear? So these residential schools comprises from 5th standard to undergraduate level. So the total number of, the total number of residential schools for ST caste in Telangana state are 268 out of which approximately 175 residential schools have been set up only on only for the girls. Is that clear? So the whole definition is the total number of residential schools for SC cast in Telangana state are 268. For which standard to which standard? From 5th standard to undergraduate level. And out of this 268 residential schools, nearly 175 are set up only for girls. The next question is Kanti Velugu or you can say Kanti Velugu. This program Kanti Velugu have been started in Telangana state. And why have been, uh, it have been started in Telangana state? Because its main aim is to make blindness free Telangana. Means no person must be blind in Telangana. So we need to provide a blindness free Telangana uh, in our state by providing glasses. Glasses in the sense spectacles or specs or cataract surgery. This is an eye surgery. So what is nothing but Kanti Velugu? It is a program which is set up by the Telangana government and its main aim is to make blindness free Telangana by providing glasses and cataract surgery facility to the Telangana people. So it is a very good program which aim is to make blindness free Telangana. What we have read in residential schools, nearly 268 schools are there and 175 are meant for girls. In Kanti Velugu what we have discussed? To make blindness free Telangana state. Let us start next one that is Arogya Lakshmi. Arogya Lakshmi and Mission Bhagiratha have been already discussed in the 5 marks topics. So if you read the whole answer, you will get these side readings also. Even though, let us have a glance on this. Arogya Lakshmi. The meaning of Arogya is nothing but to be strong. Lakshmi, generally this term is used for women or you can say girls. So the meaning of Arogya Lakshmi is to make the females stronger. How? Let us see. The government of Telangana is providing meals is providing meals to pregnant women as well as children less than 6 years old. It is providing meal. Who is providing meals? The government of Telangana is providing meals. To whom and whom? To pregnant women as well as to the children who are below 6 years. The condition should be both of them should be living below poverty line. Means they are extremely poor people. So this Arogya Lakshmi scheme is providing meals to pregnant women as well as children for less than 6 years old that too they are living below the poverty line. And these facility of providing meals uh, have been done in which centers? Anganwadi centers. When this Arogya Lakshmi program have been launched, it have been launched on January 1st 2015. When Arogya Lakshmi have been started? January 1st, 2015. 
15 it is conducted in anganwadi centers and it provide meals to pregnant women as well as to children below 6 years the condition is they must be living below the poverty line the next one is mission bhagiratha this is related with providing water facility so the main aim of mission bhagiratha is to provide clean drinking water clean drinking water to the people of Telangana to each and every house through underground pipelines and this program gets water from river Krishna and river Godavari very simple only two things you need to keep in mind it is providing clean drinking water to, to each and every house through underground pipelines and it gets water from two rivers that is river Krishna and river Godavari the next question that is the last question of unit number 10 and that is TSI pass Telangana state industrial project approval and self certification system the full form of TSI pass is very big please listen carefully Telangana state industrial project approval and self certification system so this act have been started in the year 2014 when TSI pass act have been started in 2014 to provide an investor friendly environment to Telangana in order to attract investment from foreign as well as domestic in simple terms there is a person called as entrepreneur that means he is the person who starts his own business all the risk and all the losses belongs to him so whenever I start a new business I will be in need of money and I require some people to invest is that clear so in order to make an investor friendly environment the Telangana government is attracting investments from foreign as well as domestic government to help the entrepreneurs of the Telangana state so total 11 definitions have been completed 6 we have discussed in part 1 and remaining 7 to 11 we have discussed in part 2 there were also 2 definitions that is BC uh, welfare etc which is there in your long answer so you can note it down from there so see you in the next class with some more topics till that stay home stay safe and always keep practicing and unit number 10 is very very important you will you're going to get three two marks questions so please note down all the points write it for five times learn it for ten times in order to score good marks